Italy find themselves amongst the last four teams to have made it through this far and now find themselves on the verge of a date with history. Just one more win, that's all that's needed to make it into the biggest show of the summer, which so many set off all those months, even years ago, in the hope of reaching. No doubt they, along with all the remaining teams, will feel that they have a great chance, expectation rising at an exponential pace, and expectation, of course, brings with it pressure. It's very easy to feel that pressure, and indeed, the expectation of the fans, just by the expression of those players, if you want things to come together, whether it be through the bounce of the ball or whatever else, it had better come together right here, right now. While it is a great view inside Wembley, it gives it that special feeling no matter which match it is hosting. Well, that was impressive. Match that. So we are nearly there, just this small matter of the semi-final to get through. This competition has been a superb advert for football, Peter, up to this stage, and it'll continue like that with all the talking points focusing on the positive side of things, I'm happy to say. Credit has to be afforded to the way in which everything was coordinated, despite games being spread across so many different nations, in essence, None of the camaraderie associated with the tournament has been lost. I'm pretty sure that this game will back that up. So off we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne. He's just one of the best strikers of the ball you'll ever see. And that applies just as much to his passing game as it does to his shooting prowess. He generally likes to keep things simple, taking as few touches as possible, but making every one of them count. Sorganeza! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there. He goes long, and he's cut it out. That's a corner kick. Bernardeschi, Spinazzola, Spinazzola goes for goal! Oh, a very decent attempt. Hoists it forward, Mertens. Berati drives it forward. He's away! It's Immobile! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Jorginho did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Bernadeschi does well there, alert.
cut out in the nick of time. And here's Azar. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. So a chance to deliver a ball into the box. So who is the target now? He's having a look at what's available. That was travelling. And here's De Bruyne, going for goal! Oh, great save, real class! De Bruyne really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. That's a terrific surge down the right. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Defending of the desperate variety. Lukaku. And it's Pelotti. Pelotti! Oh, wow! An absolute pile driver! Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy! And Italy score first! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. <laughs> Italy have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Bellotti, Marco Verratti, dinks one in, now it's in the... He's gone for it! It's in! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Italy take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Carrasco, towering header! Oh, just needed a better contact. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. And it's Pelotti. <laughs> Surely a foul free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Shade too heavy, keeper can pick that up. Bonucci. And the semi-final reaches halfway. Brought back on the first 45 minutes. Oh, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence the change somehow, but don't hold me to it.
Italy sitting pretty here at half time. 2 0 up. Underway again. Torkan Azar. Torkan Azar. So look up from the right hand side, seeking out options. Pinged forward. Bitzel. Get down by a lack of accuracy. Played into the middle. He perceives it all the way. Immobile gets it out to the wing. That's our with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line in that defence, and, and he's delivering. Insignia. Peak. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Witzel battles to win it back. Belgium uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity. Mertens has a shot! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive and expectations were not met. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard. And I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in. And you know, if that's the case, then you know he's doing the right thing. Hazard. Hazard. Belgium have it back and they can go again. Chip through. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Torgan Hazard. Over to the left. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Herrera Carrasco. Now it's Immobile. Immobile spreads it towards the left. It's a brilliant interception. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little... Up to meet it! Oh, that's a waste. Chadley absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Witzel takes the long option. Florenzi. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture.
Well, the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible. He's gone for goal! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. The changes then in quick succession. Out to the left it goes. Hazard gets away from his opponents. In with a header! No mistake! Oh, I think it's been called offside. Yes, it has. Oh, his goal scoring celebrations are going to be cut short. The flag was up for offside, even if the referee didn't spot it straight away. A moment's uncertainty there, but it is the right call. Time for a change in personnel. Oh, good interception. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. And it's Lukaku. Bonucci plays it forward. And here's Bak and Batshuayi! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Forward it goes. Alderweireld. Chadley. Tries a shot! And that is that. Italy are through to the final. See what it means to them as well. The will is there, the belief is there. Next up, the big day. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? You know, all four sides left at this stage could make a good case to win it. But this team looks like they believe their name is already on it.